Hello everyone, this is Charles Wallen. We're back again with another cigar pairing. And today we have a pretty cool pairing, something I've been waiting to try to do, but I didn't find the right cigar and I found the right cigar. And this, what we have today, is first of all with the cigar, it's a Te Amo Nicaraguan blend. Te Amo is a Mexican cigar. It's a cigar I picked up when I went to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Check out those videos. And it is paired with the Marie Dufault, the Marie Dufault Vas Armagnac. It's a Napoleon level Armagnac. If you're not familiar with Armagnac, they still go by the same class system as, or similar class system as Cognac. This is a Napoleon level and it's not so bad. Please forgive me for the background noise. It's a rainy day and uh, unfortunately I don't, I can't smoke inside the house. I, kind of don't want to smoke inside the house and in order to still film I got myself a nice canopy so we're still outside if you know anything about Charles Wallingford I make things happen I don't hope things will happen so that's why we have this extra noise with this, the tent sound of the rain it's been raining all I don't know I would say all week beyond all week it's been raining for about two weeks here in Maryland all right, I'll get back to you when we, once we hit, really get into the first third. Okay, everyone, we're back in the first third. The flavors are starting to come in. Let me tell you a little bit about this distilled beverage first. Again, this is the Marie Dufay Armagnac. Now, why did I pick the Marie Dufay? Unfortunately, oh, excuse me, the Marie Defoe. The reason why I picked Marie Defoe, unfortunately, is because I didn't have any much of a, I didn't have much of a choice. I wanted some Armagnac because one of my viewers slash subscribers told me. You need to try some Armagnac with a cigar. I said, fine, I'll try some Armagnac with, with a cigar. If you, if you live in, a, a, if you don't live in a big city, you won't find any Armagnac. Armagnac is not readily available. It's just not. Some specialty stores will have it and, and, and such, but it is not a regular thing. But I found some, I looked it up when I, uh, on, my, on my cell phone, my smartphone, and it said it was pretty good, so I went ahead and bought it. And I'm happy. I am absolutely happy with it. If you have never had Armagnac before, Armagnac is similar to Cognac, but it's a little bit different. There's some other, the way it's distilled and made is slightly different, but as far as flavor wise goes, you're going to have more of a zestier flavor, more of a red dried fruit, more than a dark dried fruit, meaning rather than having a raisin date type flavoring you're gonna have a maybe a little bit of apple maybe a little bit of uh, strawberry cranberry mix melded together that's the flavor you're getting with this uh, distilled beverage of course you're gonna have very similar flavors of any distilled beverage that's been aged in oak barrels and you're gonna have that woody flavor also and a, and it's sweet it is a sweet flavor coming through, just like cognac has a sweet flavor coming through. As far as this cigar, this Teyamo, I was trying to bring something back. I wanted to bring something back as far as uh, cigars. I wanted to bring back a Cuban when I went on my uh, vacation, and I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel comfortable with bringing back Cubans coming from Mexico. I was kind of worried and I had bad luck so I didn't want to chance it so I asked the tobacconist at that at the uh, cigar lamp uh, cigar shop I went to and I asked them ask her what do you recommend for as a Mexican cigar and what do you recommend after she recommend Te Amo for as a flavor that's nice and strong and nice and uh, defined and full and she gave me this Te Amo Nicaraguan blend this is working well 
and working well with this this arming yet. A lot of times you really don't know what you have in the first third. Things are first coming together. As far as I can tell right now, this is about to be a perfect pairing. I'll get back to you with more information and what what's gone what flavors are coming through on in the second third. Hell yeah. Okay, we're back. We're in the second third. We just hit the second third. Now, from the size of where this uh, cigar is right now, you would say, oh, he's not really quite in the second third yet. Now, if you're dealing with a Churchill, yes, you are. And that's what I had. I had a Churchill Lint cigar, seven inches, pretty damn big. With Churchill, you will tend to have a longer experience, but sometimes it might take a little bit longer to get the full flavor but at the same time you will have a longer experience in that full flavor I meaning that second third where the flavors are really uh, really coming about it will be a longer experience and with that will be great but again getting to that point will take much longer now let's talk about this cognac oh let's talk about this armagnac mixed with this Teamo. Nicaraguan blend. As I said before, this is a Napoleon level Armagnac, similar to uh, how Cognac is classed. If you're not familiar with Napoleon level, Napoleon is the, the class in between a VSOP and an XO. What you get, where you're getting from a Napoleon, you're getting the smoothness from an XO, but you're not getting the viscosity level of the XO. That viscosity level is very important. It's still a good vis viscosity level. It's it's somewhat thick. It's thicker than you would find in your usual VSOP. And the thickness, again, I talked about it before in other videos, is very important because that flavor lingers up on the palate. And then that's when you really get to take in the extra flavors that are being brought out when you pair the cigar and the, the uh, distilled beverage. This Marie Defoe Napoleon has flavors that are being really brought out by the smoke of this cigar with the, again with those red fruits. The red fruits are really coming out, really being accentuated with this smoke. Again, we have the cherry, we have again dried cherry, cranberry, red fruits coming out there and a little bit of spices like like a little bit of uh not something like cinnamon uh and uh and allspice more allspice and anise a little bit of hints of that that's what's coming out but the cigar is a nutty cocoa flavor coming out and then little hints little hints of toasted toasted marshmallow that is a wonderful surprising flavor that's being brought out by the cigar I mean by this this Armagnac this is working out exactly how I planned it so what makes this a perfect pairing what makes this a perfect pairing is no clash also, flavors are being accentuated by each other. That toasted, that, I, I smoked this cigar before without the Armagnac, and that toasted marshmallow flavor didn't appear. Also, I've had this Armagnac with other cigars. It did not bring out the flavors that I'm, uh, I'm experiencing did not come out. So this absolutely is a perfect pairing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. This is working out really well as I expected with this Armagnac. 
of the uh, Marie Defoe and this Tayamo Nicaraguan blend. Absolutely excellent. Having a great time. It's a shame that I'm by myself. That's the only thing that would make this cigar better and this Armagnac better would be sharing it with a friend. Make sure if you're going out and having some fun, take a friend with you. It, it'll make that experience all better. This is Charles Wallingford. Also, if you have any uh, questions, please leave a comment. If you have any questions that aren't maybe on the right subject, on, the, on this subject or a little bit off subject, feel free to email me at Charles Wallingford at charles.wallingford at gmail.com. Right there. All right. This is Charles Wallingford. I always ask the question. And this question is about doing things the right way. And this, I try my best to show you the right way. I ask the question, how would you spend your money? This is how I spent my money. I'll see you later.